your sephora bestie is back sorry i've been gone for way too damn long because of my hot girl summer but let's get into this video but in all seriousness i've missed you guys and i'm gonna make this haul so good that you have to save this video right now like right now let's start out strong we have this trio from sol de janeiro with the mist body wash and body cream and then i got their new fragrance in after hours i haven't even opened it yet but i'm so excited Charlotte Tilbury came out with two new minis with a lip liner and their lip collagen bath and they are stunning. This Touchland black paint sanitizer has me on a chokehold. It smells so good. I was lucky enough to get my hands on one of the Sephora favorites kits so I'll make this in another video. And did you guys know that the Huda Beauty pink powder comes in a mini version? Like, she's adorable. Then I got this little fragrance duo from Burberry. It's their new fragrance in Goddess. Um, it just smells so good. All right, go to part two. Hey guys, come shopping with me at Sephora. I am here again a few days later because I lost my favorite lip balm ever. It was the Summer Fridays Pink Sugar that I just bought and I lost it. So I'm here to pick up another one. So immediately when I walked in, I went straight to the Summer Fridays display and they had so many in stock. Thank God. This is my favorite flavor ever. It's the Pink Sugar one. You have to try it. And then I went over to the Glossier display because I thought I saw CoconutBomb.com, but they did not have it. It was just the rose one. They did have the stretch foundation out, though, which I've never seen in stores before. I also saw this display for the After Hours perfume, so I know that they had it at one point at the store, but they don't anymore. And then I looked over and saw that they had the 71 scent. I've never seen this before, but it actually smelled really good. I had to look for my Drunk Elephant Bronzy Drops. They were totally out of them. They did have the Goldie Drops in stock, though. They were totally out of the shimmery Jisoo lip oil, but they had tons of the normal lip oil. I went over to the Kosas display because somebody commented that they sell these powders in like a mini version, but they were not at the display. And then I also wanted to try out this Kosa brow pencil. It's $24, which I thought was kind of pricey for a brow pencil. And then I tried it and it was so hard to get the product out of the tube and onto my hand, so I passed. If you have tried this Merit Clean Lash Mascara, let me know if it's good because I loved the wand on this product. I went back over to the Glossier display because I've been wanting to try this Lash Slick Mascara and every store I've been to has had it out of stock so they finally had it so I got it to try. I went over to the Say display to see if they had the Sun Glow in stock. They did not. They only had the Star Glow. And then I saw that this brand In Beauty had these face glaze like bronzing drops which the $25 is way cheaper than Drunk Elephant so let me know if you guys have tried this and if you think it's worth it. As I was heading to check out, I saw that they had the Kosas mini powders up front, so then I went back to see what shade I should get, and I ended up getting the shade Breezy. I was waiting at the registers with all three of my products in my hands, and I look over and I saw that the Shiseido eyelash curler was on sale. This never happens. It was $19, which is still kind of pricey, but you guys have been telling me to try it, so I got it. And then here's me walking out. I will be filming a mini haul soon. I went to Sephora, and I spent $332. I'm going to show you guys what I got. So first off, um, Glow Recipe has been all over my For You page, so I had to give it a shot. Um, I got the Watermelon Glow Moisturizer, the mini version. I'm very picky with my moisturizer, so that's why I got the smaller one. Um, I got this Glow Recipe. Um, it's the a toner. Love a good toner. And can we talk about the packaging? You guys, obsessed. And then I also got the Dew Drops. Look at how pretty this is. Like, you don't have to even be good. You sold me on the packaging. I got the Brazilian Crush 68. Um, I smelled this and I fell in love instantly. It smells so good. It smells like florally and just perfect. And then also I've been wanting to try the Glossier, um, the skin tint. I'm excited. I've heard nothing but good things, so I can't wait to try this out. Patrick Ta. Um, okay, so this is the contour in She Sculpted. Once again, nothing but good things. I'm excited to try it. I've been looking for a really good like contour, so hopefully that works well. Um, the lip sleeping mask for these crusty ass lips. And honestly, I'm starting to think I just like the color pink way too much and that's why everything's pink. But that's not the reason why I got all these products. This is my favorite mascara and let me tell you, they were sold out of the big one so I had to settle for the smaller one. But this, if you have not tried it, you need it in your life once again been wanting this for so long this is the huda beauty uh baking powder in cherry blossom cake and it has a like pink undertone but not too pink that's what the lady told me so hopefully it's good i also got the drunk elephant bronzy drops excited for that because i've been using the l'oreal because they've been sold out everywhere 
and then i think that's all that i got um oh one more thing this the setting spray from milk i've been looking for this they've been sold out so once again i have to settle for the mini version i'm so excited to try everything hey everyone i woke up to part one of my sephora Rochelle going somewhat viral so here's part two And this one's really small, but still exciting because I finally got my hands on this smell. The Kayali Yum Pistachio Gelato. I wanted the small one just in case I don't like it. I'm not going to spend money on a big one. And then if I don't like it, I could give it to my mom, I could give it to whoever. So yeah, I'm giving you guys a first impression of this smell that everybody loves. Mmm! I actually really like it. It smells very sweet. I heard people say that they smell baby powder in it. I definitely smell that. It smells really good though. Kind of like cotton candy. It smells good. Hey guys. <laughs> So I just smelled this on her hand. <laughs> Insane. I'm buying this live. I'm going to put it in my basket. So I <laughs> Yeah, that's okay. all I have to say. I also have like the worst scalp issues in the world. I don't know what's wrong with my scalp. Could be uh, psoriasis, could be dry skin. I'm just still trying to figure it out. Need to go see a dermatologist, but whatever. Um, I got this Amika Pink Charcoal Scalp Cleansing Oil. Hopefully this helps my scalp because nothing has helped so far. So if anyone has recommendations, let me know. And then I got the Hourglass <coughs> oh <my God. coughs> Veil Translucent Setting Powder. Apparently it's really good. I've heard great things. Um, and I also heard it's amazing for mature skin and I wanted a powder for my more mature clients. And that's it. Part 3 coming soon. I spent way too much money at the Sephora sale. Let me show you what I got. Now this video is late because Sephora was literally trying to play me and didn't send me a lot of the stuff I ordered. I'm still missing some things, but that's a story time for a different day. So I got four shades to add to my kit of the Dior Backstage, my absolute favorite foundation right now. I got one cool, zero cool rosy, three warm peach, and three warm olive. I got another Dior highlighting palette because mine was looking ratchet. I got the Huda Beauty cupcake just to refill for my kit. I got the Rare Beauty Liquid Blush in Encourage. I also got it in Hope. Still never got that. I got two of the Dewdrops, one for me, one for my kit. Another Too Faced Concealer. This one is in Swan, just to restock in my kit. I got three of the Sephora Brow Pencils. I got the Medium Brown and Neutral Gray Brown. I also got an Auburn one. They didn't get that. I got the Urban Decay Space Cowboy that everybody loves. This is just a topper on top of the eyeshadows, and I used it on my bride yesterday. I'm obsessed. Two of the Huda Beauty lipsticks. These are my two favorite. This is Buttercup and this other one's Angel. Right, boring, but a pencil sharpener. And then all things hair, I love Amika. This is the Blowout Spray and this is the Intense Moisture Leave-In Conditioner. These are two that are new to me, but I've already used them and I'm obsessed. Color Wow Extra Large Bombshell Volumizer. I'm obsessed with this and I literally just put this on when my hair was wet and then blow dried it out. And my hair is super thin, super fine, and it really helped give me some volume. And you would think this is sponsored by Amika because I got the Soul Food Hydrating Mask. Already use this, love it. And the Dream Routine Overnight Leave-In Hydration Treatment. It's amazing. And then I have really dry scalp and I just used this the other day and it kind of gives you like a tingling feeling. It's the Bondi Boost Pink Salt S Scalp Scrub. I'm obsessed with this. If you don't like tingly or, you know, feeling like a little bit of a minty feeling, you would hate this, but this really helped with my dry skin. And that's almost everything, at least what I got. I just got all of my Sephora order in the mail today and I'm gonna go through all of it with you. All of it doesn't even fit in this bag, so let's just get into it. First new product is the glow screen from Supergoop. This is in the shade Golden Hour. Um, I actually already have this, but it's like five years old, so I'm almost positive it's expired. So I wanted to get a new one just because I'll feel better about putting it on my face. The next product that I got is the Rare Beauty Bronzer Stick. I got it in the shade Always Sunny. I've seen so much hype about this. I'm so excited to try it. Look at the packaging. So cute. 
Next new product is another one that I've seen so much hype about. It's the Summer Fridays Sheer Skin Tint. I got it in a darker shade because summer's coming up and I wanted it to match when I have a tan going on. So yeah, I'm so excited to try this. Summer Fridays is one of my favorite brands also, so had to pick this up. Next new product, I got the Refi Brow Sculpt. I am a little bit bummed because I got the wrong one. Um, it only has the gel and not the other end where you can like, you know, really slick them up, but that's okay. I'm still excited to try the gel regardless. Next up from Say Beauty, I got the Glowy Super Gel in this shade Sun Glow. I already have this in the lighter shade. I think it's called like Star Glow or something like that, but I wanted to get the darker one again because summer's coming up. You can throw this on before you're going to the beach, whatever the case may be. I love it. I wear it even on days when I'm wearing no makeup because it gives you the most natural, beautiful glow. I got a new lip liner from Charlotte Tilbury in the shade Crazy in Love. I wanted to get like a more red toned lip liner to match my more red toned glosses. Yeah, look at that. So pretty. I of course had to restock and get a brand new bottle of my Tower 28 spray. I use this spray every single day, multiple times a day. It's a lifesaver. Next up from Crown, I got their new finishing gel. I don't own a gel to slick back my hair, but I really wanted to get one so that I could start slicking back my hair. Look at this packaging. It looks so sleek. I'm so excited to try this. I've heard great things. I think it also has benefits for your hair. So like double win. I got a gua sha just from the Sephora brand in this little rose quartz color. So cute. I can't wait to get into gua sha -ing. I've never gotten into that before. I got a mini of the Way Detox Shampoo. I just wanted to get a mini because I wanted to see if I liked it before I went ahead and bought the full size. The biggest one of all, I got the Osei, I think that's how you say it, Golden Glow Body Trio. So this comes with the body oil, the body balm, and the little brush also. Lastly, I got the Olaplex Bonding Oil. I've heard great things about this, and I'm so excited to try. And I'm out of time. Thank you guys for watching. Today, I was surprised with a Sunday package delivery. It's Sephora! They're so quick and efficient. It's impressive. Let's go through it. As always, we'll start with the samples and points items. I've had this one before. It's the Lancome Paris Comfort Toner with Honey. I would have bought this, but they didn't have it. Just the toner. They only had it in a package. Would recommend. It's very soothing. I got a bunch of moisturizers because you can never have enough. The Dr. Dennis Gross Daily Moisturizer. It's an alpha beta one. Stay Lauder Revitalizing Supreme Youth Power Cream. Ooh. Optimistic. The Clinique Moisture Surge. Oh, that looks nice. I can already tell. The texture feels like a good nighttime cream. No scent. Finally, I got this Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. I don't really color in my brows, but I figure if I wanted to, it'd be good to have this. Oh, she's cute. Look, two little sides. Stunning. I'm impressed. Ooh, and the brush is nice. Classic Anastasia. But it's less exciting, but I restocked on my Olaplex shampoo and conditioner. It makes a difference. You can say it, but it does. You guys know this one, the Dr. Dennis Gross Intense Wrinkle Cream. This is so thick and luscious and it goes on like nothing else. And it smells like lemons. My kryptonite. I finally ran out of that Drunk Elephant Deep Bronzy Drop, so I re-upped. This is lovely. Needed a new makeup pencil sharpener. A larger size in the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder before I had the mini one, but this stuff's awesome. I'll often use a brush for this, but I bought this Sephora Laura Makeup Face Puff. To put it on with too. I was influenced. The last three items are net new for me and I'm very excited. As you know, I always use the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray, but I have never tried the Rare Beauty one, so I really wanted to give it a go. So cute. What do you guys think? Is the Rare Beauty one or the Charlotte Tilbury one better? I'm determined to figure it out. I wanted to try a new scent for the summer, so I got this Glossier Oud scent. Actually, Eau de Parfum. De... <laughs> Oud de Parfum? Can you read that? It smells fresh. I like it. What I'm most excited about. The Westman Atelier Vital Skincare Complexion Drops. Got it in Atelier 1. That's the shade. There's nothing like the Westman Atelier packaging. You can't convince me otherwise. No scent. Ooh, I'm so stoked to use that. Nice. It's like a glowy skin-like coverage. Stone in. Okay, that's it. We'll have to film some get ready with me so you can see how it looks. Welcome. What's up, you guys? You know what time of year it is. It's the Sephora sale. So, obviously, I missed an order online and I went into the store. 
as well. Before people try and guess or ask how much I spent, I spent like $1,300. And I just want to make it known that I don't have any kids. So that's all that matters. Um, so I'm going to show you guys what I got. I'm going to start with makeup because I have like less of that. And then I'll do like skincare stuff. Okay, so I don't really buy that much makeup related stuff anymore just because I like found what I like and I usually stick to that. I'll try like a few things here and there, but generally it's just stocking up on what I already have. But this time around, I did try buy some stuff that I um, like don't have. So the first thing I got was the Psy Glowy Super Gel Illuminating Fluid. Um, I've seen a lot of people say it's really good and whatever. So I'm like, okay, let me try it. I got it in Star Glow, which is like the lighter one. Um... So yeah, um, I see everybody and their mom using the Refi like primer. Um, it's supposed to have niacinamide in it, so it should be like good for your skin as well. So I got that to try it out as well. Um, the Huda, I got the Huda Beauty Full Filter um, Concealer in Sugar Biscuit. I've never tried it, but I like tried it on my hand. It was like really creamy and like full coverage and like for a highlighting um, concealer, I'm going to try this. Hopefully it's good. Um, I currently use the Hourglass one in the color Beach. So I just got another one because the one I've had, I've honestly had for like a year and a half. And I felt like it's going to run out soon. So I got another one. It's, it's such a good uh, concealer. So if you're looking for a concealer. Um, then I also got the Dew Blush from Psy. I got it in the color Peachy because I wanted like a really, really like baby pink um, blush. So I was like, oh, let me try it. And then I saw somebody say like, these blushes are like really good. So yeah, like it's cute. It's like very like baby pink. So I don't know. I thought it was like a like a cute color. Um, and then I got, I love the Makeup by Mario foundation. I think it's so good. Um, I got another one in 15N. Um, Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. This is like the best thing that Morphe sells, honestly. And I will continue buying it as long as they keep making it and lastly i got the brow wiz because it's an og and i love it i get it in dark brown from anastasia beverly hills the three minutes goes by so fast um but anyway part two for my big box of skincare gorgeous gorgeous girls always over blush gorgeous gorgeous girls are always in a rush Huge, massive, gigantic Sephora haul. I got the most viral products that were nearly impossible to find in stores. Been saving up for months to multiple Sephora hauls. So this is sort of a part two to my last one. Everyone is so crazy about these rosy and bronzy drops. I am having the hardest time ever finding the bronzy drops. So I'm making sort of a series at this point. So you guys go in stores with me and find the bronzy drops. But in the meantime, I found the rosy drops. I'm just going to hold on to this until I buy myself the bronzy drops so I can later on mix them together. How does everyone do this? Oh, look, I have the rosy drops. Next thing I actually cannot believe I got is the Say Super Glowy Gel. And you guys have been telling me about it in the comments. And you were saying that this is apparently like the bronzy drops for a drunk elephant i'm gonna be using this instead of the bronzy drops for now this was the last one they had on stock and people were racing to get it i think it works pretty good like it looks like the bronzy drops and this is in the shade sun glow i'm gonna have to do this faster because this is a really big haul and you guys know that it's all my life savings next thing i got is this huda beauty famous powder which also went viral this was not cheap it was like 40 dollars. but look at this i finally have it in my hands this is in the shade pound cake and i also saw the pink ones people have been getting the pink ones but i'm just i don't i'm not sure how that's gonna work so for now i have this Whoa, it smells so good. I think they should match my skin color pretty well. Then this viral Jisoo lip oil. Supposedly, it tastes like honey. And it was like $30 for a lip oil, which I get, but it better be worth the hype. Like, does it at least smell like honey? Okay, yeah, at least it smells like honey a little. This shape is so aesthetic, though. One of the more expensive purchases was this Kosa spray. And I don't know what's up with this, but this is most also the last one in stock. So this is once again, a really lucky haul. It's like firming, lifting, soothing. It's all in one. So this is how it looks like. This wouldn't be a Sephora haul if I didn't get myself something from Rare Beauty. And this is the Positive Light 
um, liquid highlighter. It's in the shade Mesmerize. I wonder how pink it would look like on my face. Honestly, it looks. I think it looks pretty nice. So I'm gonna add this to my Rare Beauty collection. Running out of time. So next, they actually gave me this Glow Recipe Free mini package, and that's that was really generous. This is the watermelon pore tight toner, and this is the drops. These are their best-selling products, so I get why. I had to buy this refi brush because everyone applying blush or something, they're like, oh, I'm using my refi blush brush. You know, why not me? Since I was saving up, why not get it? It's a dual-ended brush, and it looks pretty nice. You guys know it's gonna be my get ready with me's. Yeah, so I'm sort of preparing for my get ready with me's, and this is the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid. I was actually out of mine, so this is like a restock. I actually love how the Ordinary is super affordable and it actually works. Just love this brand. I got something from Patrick Ta and it's the brow gel because uh, my brows have been looking all over the place and I just needed a brow gel, so this was the highest rated brow gel. I'm increasing my haul speed this is the tower 28 lip glosses wait i think i got one in the wrong shade i just hate when i mess something up but it's okay it's a cute shade too first of all this is uh in the shade almond which i love it very neutral and this is sesame which is a darker pink color then i got a new lash curler it's just plain gray looking good like less than two minutes left this is a beauty blender because my beauty blender is really it's it's kind of dead now so i'm just got a plain beauty blender another spray i got is the tower 28 rescue spray serum original spray i think i got the wrong thing i still need a serum though then i've been trying to find my perfect concealer and i just can't find it so i'm trying out this kosas one the shade all 60 medium tan I hope it's not too dark though and i think it should work just fine and of course the fenty beauty heat lip gloss this is my second one from fenty beauty and this is in the shade fussy heat still on the hunt for the bronzy drops and i'll keep you guys updated Here's my massive Sephora sale haul. What I got in the mail just came in, so I figured I would make a video to both share my excitement and my shame from how much money I spent. Okay, so I did end up going to Sephora in person first, and I already opened all this stuff because I'm impatient. So also ignore this. I think I spilled water on myself, but I'm not quite sure why. Anyways, I went in person and I already opened and tested a bunch of this stuff, but I want to show you guys anyways. Um, so I got the mini of the Say Glowy Super Gel Highlighter. Very happy about that. It's shade Star Glow. Um, oh, this I was super excited about. This is the Milk Makeup. It's their new setting spray. What is it called? I can't read. It's their Pore Clips Matte Setting Spray. Travel size, and it actually, like, it sprays evenly compared to other travel sizes that I've tried, which is nice. Um, this, I got the Tower 28 Juice Balm. It's their Tinted Lip Balm. I actually, I like it way more than I thought it would. It's a nice, like, pinky color. Um, oh, <clears throat> this I already actually made a video about. This is the Merit Shade Slick Gelee Tinted Lip Oil in shade Mapleton. I love this. I actually already made a video demoing it too because it's it's just so nice. I love the texture. I love the shade. I love everything about this. Um, next, this I'm super excited about. I got the Rare Beauty Power Boost Bronzer Stick. Oh, wait, no. It's their bronzer stick in shade Power Boost. So I have, yes, I have yet to try this out because I go to my Say one every day, but I am excited to test this out and see what I think. Um... Next up, I wanted to try out nude sticks because I have had them on my Sephora wish list for a while. Um, so I actually ended up picking up their Nudies Glow All Over Face Highlight in shade, what is it, Bubbly? I don't know if it's Bubbly BB or Bubbly Bebe. I can't tell. Whatever. Um, and then I got their blush stick in shade Cherie, which I'm actually wearing a little bit of right now. Um, it's more prominent on this side, I think. But I really like this shade. It's a really nice shade that I wear over my bronzer. This is the Makeup by Mario. The Makeup by Mario Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Serum in shade Bronze Glow. Um, I don't love the packaging of this one. It's kind of annoying because when I put it on my lips, it kind of like melts down. I, I don't know. But um, I do like the shade a lot. And it looks like a really nice, like, it's like a gloss in a container. It's... I love it. Then I got the NARS concealer in shade Affogato, which is late 1.25. 
Um, I'm testing this out. I don't really know how I feel about it so far, but I wanted to get it just to test it because I've seen so many good things about it. So I wanted to see if it actually lived up to the hype. Um, and then we've got the Refi Brow Gel, which I know a couple people told me not to get. They said they didn't like it. I have been trying it out and honestly, I really like it so far. Um, but yeah, this is just like a clear brow gel. I love, let me talk about the applicator for a second because that is like the best part. So they've got this wand right here. And then once you're done applying it with the wand, you take the, it's got more here. It's got a brush and then it's got like, this is actually like bristle brush. And then this is just like a comb for your brows. I don't know. I personally really like it. So that is just my opinion, but that is everything that I got in store. So moving on to what came in the mail. All right, so we've got some more from Refi. Oh, first off, I've got their gloss highlighter in shade Topaz. Um, very excited to try that out. I got two highlighters during the sale, so I'll have to try this one out too. Oh, wait, no, oh my gosh, I bought three highlighters during the sale. This is really bad, actually. Um, and then there's the Lip Sculpts in shade Rosewood, um, which I'm also very excited about because I've been getting into lip liners. I'm actually like wearing a little bit right now down here and up to I don't know I, I like my lip liners now next we've got the Kosa's cloud set baked setting and smoothing powder I got it in shade breezy and I actually I don't have like a compact setting powder the only setting powder I have is a loose one and I don't love loose setting powder so I don't even know why I bought it um but yeah this is compact so I'm excited to try this out um, especially for summer when I am a little bit more oily next up we've got the hourglass vanish airbrush concealer this I'm pretty excited about. I have it in their lightest shade right now, but it doesn't fully match my skin tone. So I bumped the shade a little bit darker and went with the shade Cotton, um, which I know will match my skin better right now. And I could even use it as more of like a highlighting concealer for summer. So we'll see how that goes. Next up, this is probably what I'm most excited about, honestly, is the Armani Eye Tint Silk. I've got it in shade Gold Ashes. Uh, this is just, it's like a, it's like a champagne -y color, but I wanted to get it for like fancy dinner nights, stuff like that, uh, because I wanted like a nice like champagne-ish color for my eyelids, so very happy about that, and it looks really nice, I can't wait to try it out. I finally invested in the value size of this, because I go through, I've gone through five bottles of the SOS spray, and... I figured I might as well just invest in the value size because it's way more bang for my buck. Um, but yeah, this is the Tower 28 SOS Daily Rescue Facial Spray. This is the 16 ounce refill version. So very happy about this. That concludes my Sephora haul. Um, if you want to see demos of any of these products, let me know. Again, I already did do one of the Merit Lip Oil, which I'm in love with now. Um, but yeah, very excited, but my bank account is crying, so it's fine. Let's be jolly, let the halls with boughs of party.